Plants are amazing. Do you know children that they not only grow from seeds but also from roots, stems and leaves? But from among innumerable seeds that plants produce, all do not grow into a new plant. Some are destroyed by rain or wind. Some are eaten by insects, while some do not get the right conditions for growth. But if a seed survives, gets the right amount of air, water and heat, then it will sprout out into a baby plant or a seedling and the process is called germination. During germination, the seeds absorb water and the cells of the embryo divide and increase in size. The seed coat then breaks open. First, the root or radical grows downwards. During the early stages of germination, the food required by the growing sapling is provided by the cotyledons also called seed leaves, which store food for the baby plant. After the food of the cotyledons is used up, seedling then starts absorbing water and nutrients from the soil with its roots, develops leaves and grows into a plant. In spite of the fact that the conditions are favorable for the germination, even then, if many seeds are close to each other, then also all may not survive due to the struggle for air, water, light, nutrients and space to grow. Thus, in nature, many plants scatter the seeds away from the mother plant and this process is called dispersal. Seeds of certain plants like dandelion, cotton, etc. have wing-like structures or hairs and are easily carried by wind from one place to another. Seeds of certain plants like coconut, lotus, water lily have either fibrous or spongy covering which trap air and thus float. Water carries these seeds from one place to another. When birds and animals eat fruits, the seeds remain undigested and pass out of the body as waste matter at different areas. Some seeds like mimosa and castor have hooks, spines or glue. They attach themselves to animals that pass by and are carried away from the mother plant. The seeds which are usually inside the pods like pea, Balsam are scattered to far off places when the ripe pods burst. Producing new plants from plant parts other than seeds is known as vegetative propagation. Plants like dahlia, carrot, turnip, sweet potatoes can grow into new plants from their roots. The leaves of certain plants like bryophyllum has small birds on the leaf margins which grow into new plants once they fall on moist soil. Plants such as potato, ginger, onions grow from underground stems. Rose sugarcane can be grown simply by stem cuttings. Few plants like ferns Reproduce through spores. To know more about growing plants, check the video on crops. Thank you.